Hello, my name is Marcin Gil. I'm working for Cloudfero as uh, a support expert. And today I will uh, show you um, the introduction to uh, our platform, Crodias, the Copernicus platform for Earth observation data, uh, access and uh, processing. Here is the agenda for today. So uh, I will talk about uh, a little bit about Creodia's uh, platform architecture, about available data collections, uh, both free and paid uh, high resolution. Uh, and I will present briefly how to use uh, uh, two important Creodia's uh, tools, your browser and your finder. And I will uh, present uh, shortly how to create virtual machine, uh, which you can use for uh, both uh, some calculations and uh, uh, some uh, processing of um, satellite data. After that, uh, we will have questions and answers session and uh, um, and uh, uh, small uh, an anchor here. So, what is Crodia's uh, platform? Crodia's platform consists of several modules. Uh, one of them is uh, Crodia's portal, uh, so the place where you can start, you can register, you can uh, access uh, all our necessary tools. Uh, the other module is your finder. This is the uh, application used for um, finding uh, necessary uh, data, satellite data that you are looking for. Mm, then your browser that allows you to make some basic processing sometimes even more advanced, but uh, I will just show you the, the briefly uh, how to make some visualizations of uh, some areas. Uh, and cloud dashboard uh, called uh, Horizon. This is OpenStack uh, application, uh, which you can use to create uh, your virtual resources, so virtual machines, uh, uh, volumes, you can use uh, your object storage. And also on, on uh, Crowdia's platforms, uh, um, on Crowdia's platform, there are uh, um, uh, other, our partners who have uh, their own applications. So this third party applications is, uh, is for, for all of you that uh, if you want to use uh, uh, both for business or for research, Mm. It, considering the uh, technical uh, aspects, mm, the EO data uh, uh, is stored on uh, uh, storage, on big storage. Now it's uh, several, uh, about 15 or 16 petabytes of data. We uh, gather um, uh, satellite data from uh, various resources and we uh, uh, we store it on uh, on uh, object storage. We have also a big cache. <clears throat> this is part of uh, uh, object storage that is uh, for uh, additional purpose. So uh, for some products that are not existing on our uh, platform, you can process uh, them yourselves and they will be put on, on the cache. And you can also use your uh, storage on, on your domain. When you register, you have your your own domain and you have uh, you can store your private collections both for you and you can also serve it to to, uh, to the world uh, you can access the uh, the data you know, using various protocols uh, most often uh, our users are uh, uh, using nfs so network file storage uh, network file system or as free, uh, but also you can use HTTP and uh, mm, 
you can also use uh, using Sentinel Hub. This is uh, uh, the application um, on our platform that is that is not on our platform in, in fact, but uh, uh, it generally it is partly on our platform. It's uh, made by uh, our partner Synergize. So um, you can both search the data, you can access the data, you can store it. So uh, generally the uh, uh, our cloud services consists of uh, computes, so servers, uh, uh, applications that uh, you can call function as a service for, but specialized fu function as a service that you can use for processing uh, data. And uh, you can also have block storage, so and the storage that you can use uh, as uh, additional uh, disks, object storage, which you can access using uh, S3 protocol or uh, Swift protocol. And uh, you can also um, connect your virtual resources with uh, virtual networks that you can you can uh, compose yourself. Uh, these are the mm, flavors uh, that you can use in our mm, virtual mm, resources. So uh, from the very small machines like uh, your 1x small, which is one vCore and one gigabyte of RAM and uh, eight gigabyte of SSD, to the bigger ones, um, some, most of the machines are based on Intel processors, but we have also uh, uh, flavors based on AMD uh, processors. Uh, we have also specialized uh, virtual uh, flavors that uh, are dedicated for um, memory intensive computing. So they have uh, bigger uh, RAM, like for instance, HM4X large, which has four gig four, 40, uh, 496 gigabytes of RAM. And uh, we have also uh, servers that uh, are equipped with GPU. So uh, in, uh, here you can see the GPU medium that is uh, equipped with GPU card. And also uh, uh, on some servers, we have pre-installed Arch Arc GIS. So you can also use the paid um, software. And uh, another group of uh, servers are servers called dedicated servers. Uh, the difference uh, between uh, this and previous ones is that dedicated servers are uh, standalone servers that uh, you do not share with uh, anybody else. So you have full access to all the uh, vCores and uh, you have also access to uh, uh, fast disks, NVMe, uh, which allows you to use it, for instance, for uh, as a cache for uh, very heavy intensive calculations. And uh, mm, also uh, special machines are DS large with GPU. As you can see, you can, uh, you can have the uh, dedicated servers with uh, GeForce GTX 2080 Ti. Uh, information, uh, you can, here's the link to, to the um, information uh, about uh, all our servers and so you can check on, on our site. And now uh, let's talk about the uh, data collections. Uh, the basic uh, data collections are sentinels uh, because uh, we are cooperating with European Space Agency. And uh, these are the data sets that are available. So Sentinel-1, Sentinel-2, and free. Depending on uh, the products and instruments, uh, we have uh, both full archives and uh, uh, in, in uh, some of them uh, 
we have uh, last six months uh, and um, also mainly it is uh, available for Europe but also we have uh, some some products are available for the whole world and uh, mm, uh, some products that are not available directly on our platform you can order uh, ordering is for free uh, uh, you just have to be logged in as and and registered as Claudius user you can order the products uh, which are not directly available in on our storage and then uh, the products will be stored on uh, this additional cache that I uh, was describing before and uh, it will be um, it's quite a big cache uh, so far we didn't have to uh, to clear the cache uh, so we uh, most of the products that uh, our customers were um, uh, ordering they are still existing there Uh, there is also Sentinel 5P, uh, sets of Landsat 5, 7, 8, Envisat, and SMOS. Uh, additionally, we have um, uh, data called as Credia Service uh, Data uh, and other data collection, like Copernicus Services and other collections like DM, JSON free and S2 GLC. And also we uh, we have cooperation with uh, other um, uh, providers of uh, satellite data, uh, Gening, uh, Kazosat and Compsat. Uh, this uh, data is uh, high resolution and uh, you uh, and then this is commercial service so uh, if you are interested uh, you can um, select the sets of data that you would be interested in and contact our sales department and then we will uh, get this data from from the operators and put it on in in this case we put such uh, data on um, dedicated storage that is uh, dedicated to the user that ordered the data. So it's not available as uh, data in our big cache. Uh, in cache, it is uh, if you order the data uh, in a cache that's uh, from Sentinels, from, for instance, then it is available for everyone. Because generally, a Sentinel. Uh, data is uh, for free. So here are the um, links to um, to the pages that you can uh, have some deeper and more detailed uh, information about uh, our data offer, and uh, you can also uh, visit Sentinel ESA uh, to see the user's guide about uh, the data. Yeah, which is stored on our uh, uh, on our storage. And uh, now I will uh, show you the um, tools that are um, uh, available on uh, on our platform. Just a moment. I, I have to. I have to share my screen, so I will share my screen. Okay. Okay, so this is the main page, uh, Claudia's site, from which you can uh, access uh, all of our all of our important resources. Uh, here on uh, on the docs, you can see the 
information about uh, uh, various information and also some tutorials. So for instance, in frequently asked questions, we have plenty of uh, tutorials uh, designed to help you in uh, uh, managing the virtual resources and uh, collecting the data, looking for the data. So many technical details are explained here. Uh, the other important thing uh, is uh, how to contact us. So on contact us, there is information how to contact our support. So if you have any, any problems, please contact uh, any of these addresses. If you are a registered user, uh, you can uh, uh, call us, you can send information to us directly from the email and this will create a ticket. If, if not, you can also do it from, uh, from the page. So for instance, I will log in uh, as, uh, uh, as John Doe. So I will show you how it looks like my page when I'm logged in. And uh, if I'm logged in, I can go to uh, account home. And they, then I can see uh, information about, uh, about my resources. So I can see, for instance, the billing of my virtual resources. So for instance, here is the billing for uh, April. And I can go to support and uh, then I can see the tickets that I created and I can submit a new ticket. I can also order from here, I can order new resources. And uh, mm, here uh, on this menu, you can uh, see some additional information like pricing, uh, information about data. But now I will go to, uh, to the tools and show you the uh, main uh, our main tools like EO Finder. So clicking on EO Finder, I will be directed to uh, this page. And this page uh, gives me a possibility to uh, look for uh, products that I'm interested in. So for instance, let's say that I want to check for products that were created uh, between 1st of uh, uh, April till today. I can choose the uh, uh, processor, but let's now first choose the collection. So let's say I'm looking for Sentinel-3 and uh, mm, and if I, I can also uh, uh, use the polygon selection. So let's say I'm looking for some, uh, some data in Africa. And uh, having this, I can click search. And this shows me uh, that uh, find your finder found uh, about uh, 1800 products. Uh, here I can see the basic data, how big this data is. And when I click on, uh, on some of the products, I can see that for instance, some metadata and I can either download it myself or I can uh, use this path to uh, check this uh, product on uh, our, or get this product from, from uh, my virtual machine. So this is the main uh, tool for, um, for looking for products, for uh, looking for collections that I would be interested in. And uh, I can, in, in some cases, uh, the products are uh, uh, so-called uh, offline. So let's uh, clear this. So I clear all. Okay. And now 
uh, I can use uh, processors for processing. So let's say um, I want to download the offline products. So products that are not available on our platform. And uh, it shows me that uh, they are on Sentinel-1, for instance. So let's search for such products. Uh, if you type, so I need to use type. Okay. If it is a big amount of products, so it takes a little bit time for searching. So let's wait a moment. Okay. Well, this was big amount, so 40, uh, 400,000 products. When I click on one of them, I can see that this product is so-called orderable. So uh, now I, I, as I'm logged in, I can add it to my uh, basket. So if I click add, it appears on the card. Now I can choose also other products, but let's say that I have this one. When I go to cart, I can see that uh, this product is ready for being ordered, so I can, uh, I can, uh, for instance, uh, give it a name, John Doe 01, and I can click order. And then this product uh, is being uh, put into the queue, and in this queue uh, I have to uh, check uh, when I click again on orders, I can see uh, some other products that already uh, I was uh, ordering before. And uh, here is here is the product that that I ordered right now. So it is in a state of queue at the moment. So this is uh, ordering products. And in on, on the help, I can see some information how to order the products from uh, using Finder API and uh, uh, and how to use Claudius Finder. So you can uh, you can find some tutorials here, um, also how to order products. Okay, so now I will uh, look. Uh, I will show you some other information. So uh, let's now go to. Mm, see the uh, EO browser. So EO browser is another tool. It's uh, made by our partner Synergize. Mm. Uh, it uh, allows you to uh, visualize uh, some data based on also on uh, information that you're looking for. So for instance, let's just a moment because I see it's still loading. And you can also choose the dates uh, and, uh, and various collections. So let's say you're looking for a Sentinel uh, two in these dates. When I click search, uh, it shows me uh, various collections that that it found in this area. So you can uh, browse it on 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 the panel on the left. So let's uh, check, for instance, this. When I click on visualize. It gives me a visual representation of uh, this data on, in this area. This is area of Warsaw. So I can also zoom in and zoom out and see some information. I can use uh, some uh, filters like false color, for instance. It takes some time for recalculation, so 
Please be patient. Okay, so this is the, the same picture, the same image uh, shown in false color. And you can also uh, use some, uh, uh, some customization. So if you click on custom, you can uh, use various uh, bands and you can use some uh, uh, JavaScript also to, uh, uh, to, um, uh, to process uh, some basic, pro to make some basic processing. Okay, so now let's go back to the um, to the presentation. Uh, so the next the next item is just a moment. Okay, so uh, it seems that my internet connection is very uh, bad. So I'm sorry. I apologize if uh, if you have some lags hearing me or seeing my screen. But I'm uh, mm, I'm doing the presentation from home. Mm, okay, so now mm, uh, I will show you how to set up a virtual machine. So I will share again the screen and go again back to Crodias. Uh, I can um, I can create virtual machine using this um, uh, button uh, order now. And here I can choose various uh, virtual resources like uh, various servers and uh, uh, and uh, also additional storage. But I will show you another way, which is uh, a little bit more flexible and, uh, and gives you some additional advantages. Uh, and to do to do it, uh, you need to go to uh, your cloud environment. When I when I'm logged in, when I click on your cloud environment, I'm redirected to the main page of uh, OpenStack dashboard, which is called Horizon. And I have uh, two choices. I can either use OpenID Connect or Keystone Credentials. When I click on OpenID Connect, uh, I will be directed uh, to the page uh, using uh, single sign-on, so I don't have to put my uh, credentials again. Uh, and if I want to log in, if I, for instance, you can give access to some other persons that uh, don't have access to your uh, to your uh, Claudia site, but ha can have access to Horizon, then you can they can use Keystone credentials. So now I will use the simpler, simpler way that is OpenID Connect. Click Connect. Of course, uh, many of this information, there is more detail you can find uh, on, our, um, uh, on our page. So, uh, so please check there some tutorials. And if you don't find uh, uh, the information that you're looking for, please remember to contact our support, so us, and we will try to help you as soon as possible. Okay, so this is the uh, main uh, dashboard showing the resources in my project. My project has, that is my domain, uh, is uh, number 02722. 
And uh, uh, when I click on this menu at the top, I can see that I have several projects. Projects are uh, uh, separated entities. So in each project, you can have uh, another set of virtual machines, virtual resources, and they are separated from each another. So they cannot communicate on the internal uh, network, but of course they can uh, communicate through the internet. So, uh, but let's now uh, stay with this. So project, I can uh, check project, for instance, project with L, without L. Uh, this is uh, in fact um, some historical remain uh, uh um, because previously uh, 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 there was distinction that one project was uh, uh, has had access to um, your data and another one did not but now uh, all the projects have access to your data so it's uh, in fact up to you which project you choose and you can also create your own additional project like this here and uh, you can create, but uh, please remember that by default, these two projects are created only with L and without L, and they have uh, uh, routers allowing you to connect to the um, external uh, world, to the internet. Uh, if you create your new project, you have to set up your new router if you want to have access to the internet. Uh, which is described in one of our tutorials, so please check there. Okay, so uh, this shows uh, my um, limits. So for instance, in, on my account, I cannot create more than 30 instances and uh, use more than uh, 9.5 terabytes of RAM, for instance. If you need more, please contact us. Uh, we can cha change this uh, these limits, of course. So it's not; uh, it's just by default. And now let's create a simple uh, virtual machine. I will create it here and clicking on instance. So I click on instances. Uh, as you can see, there is also one. Uh, there is already one virtual machine that I created. Some three weeks ago and I gave it uh, the name, but I will create a new one. So I will click launch instance. Ah, one more, one important thing. So before uh, showing this, I will show you the network that is uh, uh, here. So I can see either network topology this is the graphical representation of uh, uh, of my network. As you can see, uh, there are three routers. Router uh, uh, 02722, Router External 2. Uh, sorry, there are two routers. And as you can see, the external three does not have router. This means that you cannot attach, uh, if you create a new virtual machine, you cannot uh, use the uh, pool of addresses that are uh, allocated to external free because each of these uh, um, externals, so external, external two and external free has its own pool of uh, floating IP, uh, floating I uh, IP, floating addresses. And uh, if I go to floating IPs, uh, you can see that uh, I have already two uh, floating IPs uh, allocated to my uh, uh, to my project, to this project, to, the, to my domain, and these are uh, they are uh, attached to external free. However, as I don't have a router in external free, I would have to create it. Uh, otherwise, it will not be uh, usable at all. Uh, but I will not create a router uh, during this presentation because it's a little bit more complicated and this is introduction. So I will only try to allocate another IP address, but from external to. 
So let's see if there is free IP address. Uh, it seems that there is no IP address in this external tool. Mm, so in fact, uh, I don't. So I will use it a little bit different. So I can go to computes. This means that they are all this uh, mm, uh, floating IPs from external to have already been used, allocated by uh, some other projects. Uh, so uh, I don't have access to, uh, to them. So I would need to use external free, but in external free, I don't have the router. So let's do another way. I will go to another project in which I'm, I know that I have a router created already. So I already logged in as another user. Now let's see if I have uh, what uh, elements in what routers I have available. Okay, I can see that here I can all, I also have only external one and two. And I check another project. Hmm. Oh, okay. So in this project, project with L, I can I have uh, uh, router external free uh, configured. So I will use this project. Of course, uh, mm, this I use the trick because I changed the project uh, as another user. But in your case, you would just in fact, if you register now, you will have by default the external router external free. So you don't, you will not have these uh, problems as I experienced today. Okay, so now I'll go to instances. Uh, uh, I already have plenty of other virtual machines here, but I will create a new one. So let's start. So I click on launch instance. I uh, put a name, so let's call it webinar. Okay. Now I choose another uh, pane. It's called source. And here in uh, source, I can choose from various uh, images. Uh, so both uh, CentOS, Ubuntu, uh, Windows, also window with Windows with Arc uh, GIS, Windows uh, 2019, Windows 2016. Uh, you can use, for instance, Ubuntu with uh, QGIS already pre-installed. Of course, you can, uh, if you install your machine like we will do so, for instance, with Ubuntu uh, 20, uh, you don't. You can install all uh, your other software yourself. So, uh, so you don't have to. Uh, you can also, for instance, in, uh, install QGIS, yeah, QGIS yourself if you want. Okay. So now let's check. Uh, let's choose Ubuntu twenty. Uh, and uh, to choose Ubuntu twenty, I click on uh, arrow up. Uh, it shows me that it's already chosen. Now I have uh, the choice whether to, ah, sorry, one more information. You can use, uh, you can choose the select boot source. Uh, this is what I told you that this, um, uh, this uh, horizon, this dashboard, OpenStack dashboard uh, is, uh, gives you more possibilities uh, than uh, buying from Claudia's site. So if you create, uh, of course, uh, if you create a virtual machine here, you need to, uh, if you want to create virtual machine, you need to have credits on your account. And uh, if you are 
um, if you don't have credits and you just have to you just want to try our uh, platform you can uh, get uh, 150 uh, euro credits uh, from us for free so you can test it uh, and if you create virtual machine here it will be used as a paper use mode uh, this means that uh, as long as it is used you pay for this if you delete the machine you don't pay for, for this so you don't lose your credit so uh, so this is the uh, uh, another difference from uh, buying uh, from Claudia's site and you can also use uh, you can make snapshots so uh, of the virtual machine you can cr uh, create also volumes with uh, um, operating systems so uh, bootable volumes so you can start your virtual machine from a bootable volume but uh, in our case we will choose the simplest uh, way so first time uh, uh, choose image and you can also uh, uh, choose the option create new volume or uh, yes or no uh, by default it is no if you create yes then you can choose uh, the size of your uh, main uh, disk of your operating system disk so this is uh, also uh, another option and you can also choose option whether you want to delete it or not after for instance if you create or no delete volume uh, on instance delete no then after deletion deletion of the instance the uh, the bootable volume will stay uh, on uh, on your uh, in your plat uh, in your domain and you can start a new uh, machine again from from this volume so now i will choose create new volume no i will choose flavor now so uh, you can have this plenty of flavors that i showed you before let's choose the small one now networks uh, so this is what i told you that uh, you can choose to which uh, external network it will be attached so let's choose external free uh, network ports this you do not have to uh, do anything uh, security group is uh, important because security group uh, allows you to uh, choose um, to uh, limit the access to uh, to your uh, virtual machine by default you have a security group called allow ping ssh rdp which means that you can ping it you can ssh this machine you can uh, access it uh, through rdp if uh, you have uh, rdp server installed and you can also create your own security group so let's choose this simple one allow ping ssh rdp and now keeper so i will use my uh, my uh, keeper uh, keeper is a, uh, a way to no, that is you, you need in case of linux machines you you should use uh, keeper so private and public key if i click on uh, this arrow this means that uh, the keeper that is uh, um, stored here uh, sorry the keeper that is stored here you can see this uh, this is the keeper public key that uh, is uh, added to uh, this project will be uh, attached to the uh, virtual machine and you can access it using your private keeper that uh, your private uh, key that you have on your machine and now uh, click on configuration this is the this you do not have to change anything so in fact this button is already active so you can uh, click on launch instance okay so now as you can see the instance uh, named webinar is being spawned so in a moment it will be creating or it's already created i can uh, uh, choose various um, uh various uh, actions here like uh, associate floating ip uh, attach detach volume reboot uh, rebuild rebuilding means uh, changing the flavor so uh, the basic thing usually is to associate floating ip so i click on associate floating ip 
now I choose from uh, I can choose from existing addresses, but I'm not sure. I think they are from external free. If not, I will have error. So I click on if there is no uh, IP here, I can click on uh, plus and this it will look for a new IP address and allocate it to my project. So I click on this one. And uh, here, important thing is to choose the proper uh, port. In this case, ah, sorry, I did not attach your data. I forgot to attach your data, so I will do it in a moment. Now I click on associate. Okay, so now this is associated, but I did not attach the your data. If I want to have access to uh, your data from my virtual machine, I need to attach it. So I forgot to do it when creating, but I can do it now and select network. So I need to uh, attach uh, your data. Okay, so as you can see, this virtual machine has already attached uh, networks and I can uh, see it here, clicking on console. So here, if I uh, put EO console, this is the default user on this machine. I need to uh, add uh, some password double uh, uh, twice. But in fact, uh, I can, uh, the, the, so I'm logged in already. So if I click on LS, for instance, I can see that uh, I can see um, uh, some directories. But uh, the more um, uh, easy way, because here you cannot copy and paste, for instance, is to use the SSH. So I will go to my uh, to my uh, terminal, and I will use this address and uh, type SSH EO user so this is another user as you could see previously i was using eo console but uh, when uh, ac accessing from ssh i need to use uh, eo user and uh, copy the address and if i do not put any uh, key here it means that it will use my default uh, i uh, uh, my default key i will show you in a moment but if i click and uh, now it showed me uh, the warning because I previously used this address. So I need to, uh, so this is very normal. So I need to use this, uh, this uh, to clear this problem. And once again, SSH, confirm yes. Okay, so I'm now, I'm, I'm now logged in to my virtual machine. If I CD, EO, uh, sorry, CD, EO, data, LS. I can see that I can I can see the collections that uh, that uh, are already uh, uh, directly accessible from my virtual machine. Uh, okay, so uh, uh, just briefly, I will show you how to use this. I can see that my time is uh, finishing, so I need to hurry up a little bit. So I will only show you the, uh, when I go to Finder, and I, when, when I search any, 
like Sentinel-1, for instance, from a week search, click on the uh, click on the uh, product. As you can see, there is a path, product and the identifier. If I copy this path, control C and paste it here, like CD uh, this path. And now LS, I can see that this is the, uh, these are the products that are already so these are the, the, the you can, you can, I have access to this uh, product from my virtual machine, so I can use it for uh, processing. Okay, so this is the basic, very basic uh, introduction. And uh, uh, I will now uh, go back to the, um, to the presentation. And before questions and answers, I want to sh to tell you about one more thing. We have the program called uh, OCRE, Open Cloud for Research Environment. So it provides funding for scientific and research institutions. And we are a qualified OCRE supplier for all European countries. And uh, we will have a webinar on this on 29th of uh, April. So if you uh, are interested, please, uh, please register. And uh, the, the, in, in the cloud services uh, we offer uh, are open source based, uh, available on Crodia, so both uh, virtual machines and dedicated servers and DGPU and and Kubernetes, so uh, all this with with access to Xi'an network. So please, uh, uh, we welcome you to, uh, to access this. So thank you very much. Mm, thank you. I hope you, you had uh, interesting information. Uh, here are the links that you can use to contact us. If you have any additional questions, problems, then please contact us and happy processing on the platform. Thank you.